Today, I would like to give a quick overview of where my senior project is at this point, what I've done to get it where it is, and where I plan to take it in the future. So, what's the project? I'm optimizing the shape of the diverging portion of a Dillaval rocket nozzle from a prefabricated combustion chamber and converging nozzle portion. The fuel used for the rocket platform is sucrose potassium nitrate, or rocket candy. Near the beginning of the year, I attempted to identify the steps that would be necessary in order to get to the testing phase of the project. You might call them action items. They materialized in the following fashion. I would need a test stand, a load cell for recording thrust values, a standardized combustion chamber, and a nozzle. I also knew that I would need to calculate the mass flow rate of the system through testing. Knowing mass flow rate would allow me to use SOLIDWORKS flow simulation to optimize the diverging portion of the nozzle. This quickly became my first prototyping goal. After researching several hobbyist rocketry test stand setups, I sketched out a rough design of what one might look like in my engineering notebook, solidified the dimensions in SOLIDWORKS, and went to the shop to look for spare stock to use. Searching through the various scrap bins therein, I cut some lengths of aluminum plate, angle aluminum, and tube stock. All of this had holes drilled into it and was bolted together with 1032-188 stainless steel hardware. Next, I purchased a thick brass pipe for the main body of the combustion chamber and turned it down on the lathe to an outer diameter appropriate to the project, 2.25 inches and a length of 8 inches. A load cell was purchased and an adapter was drawn, modeled, and CNC machined out in order to reconnect the combustion chamber to the load cell. Instead of purchasing square stock, I bought brass pucks for the combustion chamber end caps, which required several fixture iterations in order to be successfully machined. They were eventually. At some point, the test stand was painted green. So much for the red rocket test stand that I had had in mind from the beginning. The brass pucks, being milled and drilled to the appropriate specifications, were press fit into the ends of the main combustion chamber and subsequently welded in place, which was followed by some manual mill cleanup for sealing purposes. The final hurdle was the nozzle itself. Based on some optimal angle graphs, the converging nozzle portion was 3D modeled, 3D printed, and used to create a mold in refractory cement and casting stand, and then cast out of brass, the material of choice for the majority of the project. It was then milled in the Tormach using 3D milling techniques, and finished up with a bit of good old-fashioned sandpaper and filing. Two soft copper gaskets were milled to the appropriate inner diameter, and sandwiched onto the ends of the combustion chamber, 